I'm Miss Hannah with the Wixon Public Library and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own lava lamp. We're going to talk about what's in your kit and what's not in your kit and then we'll do the craft. So in your bag you should have one supply list, you should have one clear plastic jar, one tiny little bottle of food coloring, and one tablet of Alka-Seltzer. So that's what's in your bag and then what you're going to need, you're going to need water at home and you're going to need some form of oil. I'm going to be using vegetable oil. You can use like olive oil or canola oil, whatever you need. And that's all you need. Um, if you want to further decorate your jar, you're going to use whatever it is that you have at home, whether it be markers, glue and glitter, etc. Um, we'd love to see your creation, so tag us on social media or shoot us an email. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is, first off, you're going to observe that I'm not using a jar, I'm using a cup, but that's okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is if you want to decorate your jar, you're going to want to do it on the very, very, very bottom and the very, very, very top. And that's it. Otherwise, let's start our little experiment. So you're gonna fill about a fourth of the way up your jar. You're gonna fill it with water. And then you're gonna fill the rest up with your vegetable oil. You're not gonna wanna fill it to the tippy tippy top, but you're gonna wanna fill it up to about the top. I'm going to fill it up to there. I'm going to fill it up to there and then we're going to watch it settle. See how the water and the oil stay separate. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So once that's done, we're going to take our food coloring and you're going to put I'm going to put like four drops in there to begin with. Oh. Okay, maybe I put a little more than four drops. So five or six. You can put however many you want in there. And the droplets float all the way down to the bottom of the oil. We're gonna take our Alka-Seltzer tablet and I'm gonna break it up into little bits. Cause I don't wanna use it all yet. So we're gonna take a little bit and put it in. And then it should react I'll put a little bit more in there. One over there and another over here. And that makes our lava lamp lava lampy. This is the reaction with the antacid, bubbles up the water into the oil, and we can see that reaction much better with the food coloring. And if you want to keep the reaction going, just keep adding Alka-Seltzer tablet pieces. One thing you're not going to want to do is while this reaction is happening, you're not going to really want to put the top of your jar, you're not going to want to put the lid on top of your jar. Since there is a gas um, building, we don't want your jar to explode. So what you can do is when the reaction is clearly done, you put your jar top back on and save it for later until you get more antacid tablets and then add antacid tablets and take the lid off. We hope you enjoy this lava lamp and thank you so much for watching.